Imagine a telescope so groundbreaking its mission is to make the hidden parts of the universe visible. Did you picture an 8-metre high infrared observatory that can peer through exoplanets and uncover some of the first galaxies formed after the Big Bang? Whether you answered yes or no, there's an undisputed fact. We've flipped a new page in the book of space-based telescope astronomy. Get ready to strap in and launch into the cosmic roller coaster of discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JSWT for short, has reshaped our understanding of the universe since it took off on an Ariane 5 rocket on Christmas morning in 2021. From its orbiting position around the Lagrange point, one million miles from Earth, Webb uses its 6.5 meter segmented primary mirror to capture infrared light. The infrared detecting capability is the game changer. The light passes through cosmic dust easily, thus revealing never before seen celestial objects. The buzz around this telescope isn't for nothing. It results from almost 20 years of construction and collaborative effort of NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. The telescope was initially called the Next Generation Space Telescope, a testament to its innovative design and ability to broaden the scope of its predecessors, Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes. It was renamed in 2002 in honour of James Webb, the NASA administrator during the Apollo program. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel for more videos on space discoveries. Since the release of its first images in July 2022, the Webb Telescope has proven to be a trove of unprecedented cosmic finds, unravelling the mysteries of the unseen universe and offering new perspectives. In today's video, we'll be showing you the top five jaw-dropping discoveries from the James Webb Telescope. Do stay tuned and enjoy. Number one, carbon-based molecules in exoplanet K218b. In September 2023, the JSWT detected carbon-bearing molecules, such as carbon dioxide and methane, in the atmosphere of the exoplanet K218b. K218b is 120 light-years from Earth and orbits the habitable zone of a cool dwarf star, K218. It's about 8.6 times more massive than Earth, while its radius is 2.6 times that of our planet. The Hubble telescope had hinted that K218b might be a Hycian planet, a term created from the combination of hydrogen and ocean by a group of exoplanet researchers at the University of Cambridge. It describes an exoplanet with vast oceans of liquid water and hydrogen-rich atmospheres. The lack of ammonia and the presence of carbon dioxide and methane lend credence to Hubble's earlier findings. Webb may have also discovered dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. This is where it gets interesting. On Earth, this compound is predominantly released by phytoplankton in marine ecosystems. However, it's a tentative discovery as researchers seek additional confirmation of the presence of DMS. Exoplanets like K218b are called sub-Neptunes, because their sizes are between Earth and Neptune. The makeup of their atmospheres is often a point of debate among astronomers because they differ from all the planets in the solar system. Number two, most distant active supermassive black hole. Based on images and spectral data from the Webb telescope, researchers conducting the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, or CEERS, survey found the most distant active supermassive black hole ever seen. The black hole is in Galaxy Sears 1019, which formed about 570 million years after the Big Bang. How this black hole originated shortly after the universe's formation remains a mystery. Age isn't the only remarkable feature of its galaxy. Its black hole weighs 9 million times the mass of the Sun. Yes, 9 million sounds like a lot, but the typical weight of black holes in the early universe is over one billion solar masses. This size makes them more visible and easier to find. The data also revealed two more small black holes 
weighing about 10 million solar masses each. The first, at the center of Sears 2782, formed 1.1 billion years after the Big Bang, while the other, within Sears 746, existed 1 billion years after the Big Bang. In addition, the Webb telescope detected 11 galaxies that date back between 470 and 675 million years after the Big Bang. Number 3. A probable neutron star at heart of supernova remnant. The Space Observatory has obtained the best evidence to date for emission from a neutron star at the location of a recently observed supernova. The supernova, SN 1987A, exploded in the Large Magellanic Cloud, 160,000 light-years from Earth. It was initially detected on Earth in February 1987 as the first supernova to be seen without telescopes, since Kepler's supernova in 1604. SN 1987A was a core collapse supernova, meaning a black hole or neutron star emerged from the compacted remnants at its centre. There's been a long-standing search for clues for such a compact object, and recent discoveries provided indirect proof of the existence of a neutron star at the remnant centre. Thanks to the Webb telescope, this is the first indication of the impacts of high-energy emission from the likely young neutron star. A brief burst of neutrinos was observed by three observatories worldwide around two hours before SN 1987A was observed with visible light. The supernova explosion was suspected to be associated with the neutrino burst. Scientists have since searched for proof to support their theory that the stellar explosion would eventually evolve into a black hole or neutron star. The supernova remnants were one of the first objects the Webb telescope explored when it came online in July 2022. The three-panel image that supported this finding was captured on July 16th. Number 4. Staggering structure in 19 nearby spiral galaxies. Exciting new images of 19 face-on spiral galaxies in near and mid-infrared views showed gas, stars and dust at the most minute sizes ever seen outside our galaxy. Aside from highlighting growing stars covered in the dust and gas that support their formation, Webb's MIRI, or Mid Infrared Instrument, data also drew attention to where glowing dust is present, behind, around and between stars. The telescope's near-infrared camera, or NearCam, documented millions of blue-toned stars. Some stars appear together in clusters, while others are dispersed across the spiral arms. The stunning images also reveal massive spherical shells in gas and dust, possibly formed by one or more exploded stars. As you might tell, these images are a haven for space researchers. There are opportunities to study star formation and spiral galaxy evolution. Already, we can see that galaxies expand from the inside out. Star formation starts at their centers, moving outward along their arms and away from the core. A star's likelihood of being younger increases with its distance from the galaxy's center. On the other hand, older stars are found close to the cores. These stars appear illuminated in a blue spotlight. The pink and red diffraction spikes enveloping the galaxy cores could be signs of an active supermassive black hole or saturation from bright star clusters moving toward the center. Number five, water vapor and a new mystery in a main belt comet. Another amazing discovery of the James Webb telescope is the water vapor detected on Comet Reed in the main asteroid belt. The findings in Webb's near-infrared spectrograph instrument suggested that water ice from the early solar system may still exist in that area. However, the discovery of water came with a new mystery. No carbon dioxide was found in Comet 238P Reed compared to other comets. With this, scientists are now faced with a brand new mission to understand the absence of CO2 while still exploring the history of ancient water in the solar system. Comet 238P Reed is a main belt comet. It's hosted within the main asteroid belt, but sometimes has a comet-like halo and tail. 
Although scientists had suspected that water ice could be retained in the warmer asteroid belt inside Jupiter's orbit, they couldn't find conclusive evidence until the Webb telescope came to the rescue. Comet Reed was one of the first three comets to be used in categorizing main belt comets, a relatively new classification. The two other comets are Elst Pizarro and 11401. If you think we've seen everything the universe has to offer, think again. Which of these discoveries do you consider the most interesting? What unanswered questions do you want the Webb telescope to address? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell button. See you in the next video.